welcome to Botcha Something. Today we will be making a deep dish Chicago style pizza. First, we'll make a buttery flaky pizza dough. We'll top it with cheese, meat, sauce, and Parmesan. Then we'll take it and bake it in our Traeger pellet grill. Let's round up our ingredients and get started. We'll need yeast, sugar, salt, and cornmeal. We'll also need flour, butter, and water. Now we'll mix our salt, sugar, and cornmeal into our flour bowl and mix until well incorporated. Lay out the flour and butter. Use a bench knife to cut the butter into the flour until it resembles pea-sized crumbles. This process will take a while. This is the pea size consistency you're looking for. We'll go ahead and pour all the ingredients into the bowl. Here, I almost forgot to put the yeast. Don't you forget about that. Just hold the water back. Now that we got all the dry ingredients in the bowl, let's start mixing. Start the mixer on low speed until it looks like the yeast is incorporated. Slowly add your water to avoid splashing. Continue mixing on low speed until the dough comes together. After two minutes, stop the mixer and scrape down the bowl with a spatula. Once you're done, restart the mixer on medium speed for seven minutes. After seven minutes, stop the mixer and check the dough for consistency. When stretching the dough, you should be able to see through it before it tears. Place the dough onto a floured surface and roll into a ball. Place the dough into an evenly oiled bowl. Cover with plastic wrap for two hours. The time may vary. What we're looking for is for the dough to double in size before rolling it out. While the dough is rising, take two lengths of Italian sausage out of the casing and break it up to pieces on a pan. Bake the sausage at 300 degrees for 15 minutes. We want to lightly bake the sausage to remove excess grease. Once the sausage is done, place on a plate lined with a paper towel. Next, shred 12 ounces of mozzarella cheese. Gather your pepperoni, Canadian bacon, and Italian sausage. For the sauce, use your favorite store-bought or homemade sauce. After two hours, our dough has doubled in size. 
Next, oil a 10 inch cast iron pan. Turn the dough onto a lightly floured surface. Punch down on the dough to remove any excess air. With the bench knife, cut the dough into two equal pieces. This recipe makes enough dough for two pizzas. Take one of the pieces and roll into a loose ball. Lightly flour the top of the dough and roll it out to a 12 inch circle with a rolling pin. Take your oiled pan and place the dough in the center. Press the dough into the pan uniformly, three quarters of the way up the side of the pan. Place the cheese in the pan and press down to pack tightly. Lay down a generous layer of pepperonis followed by Canadian bacon and Italian sausage. Pour out enough sauce to cover the toppings. Using a spatula, spread out the sauce evenly. And last, cover the pizza with grated Parmesan. Now, let's take this pizza out to the Traeger Grill and bake it. We're going to bake it at 425 for about 35 minutes. Check on the pizza halfway through the baking time. At this time, you'll want to rotate your pan for even baking. After 35 minutes, check the pizza. You'll know it's ready when the edge of the pizza crust is golden brown. All right, guys, now that the pizza's ready, now it's time for a taste. <laughs> oh goodness, guys, the crust, the cheese, the three meats, and the sauce just bring it all together. This is one recipe you've got to try. Thank you for watching our channel, Botcha Something. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.